Mr. Assessment here. Let's talk about the coordinate plane. What is it? Well, I've got an example here shown for you. It's a set of two lines that we can use to measure off of to put a point at a very specific place. And that's a point that you could measure off of, someone else could look at and know exactly where it is. So we use two lines for that, and we, they have some names. There's the X and the Y, and let's talk about our first term over here. First one is going to be an axis, and that's our line right here. We've got one that's vertical, it's called the Y axis, one that's horizontal called the X axis. So the axis is one of the two lines on a coordinate plane with those whole numbers off of it that we use to measure. And the plural of axis looks like the word axes with A-X-E-S, and you might hear it pronounced axes or axes. Okay, so we've gotten that one down, axis. Let's go on to the next one. Let's talk about coordinates. A coordinate is a point on the coordinate plane. Plane just means two-dimensional. It's flat like a piece of paper. It's not raised like a book. It doesn't have that volume. It's only area. So a coordinate plane, a coordinate is a point on the coordinate plane. And so let's go ahead and put one on there. I could put one right here. And the good thing about a coordinate plane is that we have these numbers that we can use to tell exactly where it is. And let me put one closer to zero, zero so we can count it here. This spot has a name, and it's called, well, let's start at zero, zero right here. This is where x equals zero, y equals zero. Let's see how many spots that we go over to get there. I've got one spot, and I've got a second spot right there. So we've got two spots. And that's how far we travel on the x-axis. Well, how far did we go up? We go up one spot on the y-axis, one on the y. So that actually has a specific name called 2, 1, and we'll talk more about that in a second here. So that's why we use those whole numbers to measure off of. Now I want to make a point that there could be an infinite number of points on a coordinate plane. Notice these arrows, they go on forever in both directions, and you could have uh, as many points as you could plot on your coordinate plane. There's a specific phrase we need to introduce here called an ordered pair. And we had an ordered pair up here. This was called 2, 1 because it's at the spot 2 and 1. 2 over and 1 up. And the order does matter. These both have the names. Uh, they follow the names of the axis or the axes with x and y. And your first one is always going to be x. The second one's always going to be the y value. So on this one, x equals 4. What does y equal in this ordered pair? It equals... Why are they called an ordered pair? Well, it's ordered because it's in order, x first, y second. It's a pair because there are two numbers, 1, 2. So how about this one? 0, 5 means y equals 5. What's the x value? It's 0. So let's put these ordered pairs on our graph. Our first one was 4, 2. And they go in parentheses. So we're going to count over four spots from 0. One, two, three, four. And we're going to go up how many spots on Y? We're going to go up two. One, two. So that's going to be our spot, four, two. And that's our ordered pair. Our second one was zero, five. How, how far do we go over from X? We go over zero. We don't even go up at all. And now, or don't go over at all. How many f spots do we go up? We go up five. So this spot's actually going to be right there. 0, 5. It's fine that it's on the axis. That's a spot that you can use. So we've talked about what an axis is. We've talked about what a coordinate is. And now it's time for us to talk about a special coordinate called the origin. Let's talk about that. The origin is where it all begins. And it's this spot where the two axes or axes intersect, where they meet. And it's a spot. What number do you think? What ordered pair is the origin? Let me set up the brackets here. Well, it's x goes over how many times? None at all, zero. And y goes up how many times? Zero. That's the spot, zero, zero. It's a very special coordinate called the origin. 
So we've talked about that. You know the terms, you can speak the language. Now you're ready to solve some problems on the coordinate plane.